So, did you see the UK is working on some legislation or something that would force their ISPs to block porn or something? <laughs> you can't block porn. What? Apparently, they're going to try. People have Twitter. I know, but I'm just saying it's one of those think of the children type legislation where they're banking on that to try and morally fleece people. Fuck that. I think kids should jack off more. Makes the world a better place. Makes them less likely to rape me. All right. Well, there's the official TBR stance on kids jerking it. Uh, up next, even worse things. <laughs> everyone i'm hugo and i'm jake and i i forgot what this feels like yeah this is the bible reloaded it's been a month and 10 days since we did a bible <laughs> episode because oh, well a, a lot <sighs> happened though a lot happened jack chick died ray comfort talked some shit and he put out a new movie and thanksgiving occurred and we gorged ourselves while we watched native americans get well, water sprayed on them yeah it's okay. I think that their skin has natural qualities that keep them warm in the rough winters. That's why they dr they drink a much fire water. That was 100% racist. Did you watch the intro? I said <laughs> worst things up next. This is the worst thing. I don't want fucking false advertising. No, I support the protesters. Fuck you guys. The pipeline people. Not the Indians. <laughs> I support the protesters. Fuck you. Your little, anyway. Your little bridge and your, your smoke dances. So, like we said, it's been quite a while. We're back to do Song of Songs. We are in Chapter 4. We're going to continue. If you don't remember, it's basically a long, sexy poem about sex and uh, a wedding. But mostly the sex that happens after the wedding. Or during. I wasn't there. I, I, don't, yeah, I, don't know how, I don't know how weddings went back then. It was just one big orgy. It was like, it was like a whole wedding party, but prima nocta. Anyway, Song of Songs, Chapter 4. This is the husband speaking, by the way, he. How beautiful you are, my darling. Oh, how beautiful. Your eyes behind your veil are doves. Your hair is like a flock of goats. <laughs> Don't. We've seen flock of seagulls. What does, what does flock of goats look like? I don't know, but I'm telling you, all the ladies listening to this when I said that, uh, as long as you can't see my face when I said it, got wet instantly. You compare a woman mm. to a flock of goats, she's putty in your hands. Ugh. Much like a flock of goats, actually. Uh, that doesn't make you... sense. I don't know. I know more goat things than you, so. That's obvious. That is obvious from, from the putty reference. Mm. I would assume they just acted like... Like, can you even hold more than, more than one goat in your hand? Mm. Can you even hold a single goat in your hand? It depends on the size of your hand and the size of the goats. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep just shorn, coming up from the washing. <laughs> That's not what sheep look like when they're shaven. This is a shaved sheep. These are teeth. What do my teeth look like? Your, your teeth look a shaved sheep. Okay. People ask, by the way, I didn't lose the tooth. I never had it. It's a genetic mutation. I never had that tooth. See, a lot of people say that you should go with a story. Maybe we should change the story every time. Today was... it's genetic mutation. Tomorrow it's bar fight. <laughs> Can it be a bar fight with Patrick Swayze? Like in Roadhouse? Yeah, a lot like Roadhouse. Roadhouse is the inspiration for what I just said. Each has its twin. Not one of them is alone. <laughs> your lips are like a scarlet ribbon. Your mouth is lovely. Your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. <laughs> this guy's metaphor game is on fucking fleek. <laughs> no, it's so, not. I'm Have just... you seen pomegranate insides? Yeah. Yeah. Did she just... blow her brains out because she was about to marry you? Because you're an idiot? Yeah, well, it's beautiful in that way. 
you know, like exploded heads often are. I'm on fucking point today, by the way. You garbage. <laughs> Your neck is like the Tower of David, built with courses of stone. On it hanging thousands of shields, and all of them shields of warriors. <laughs> kind of oh. lost the metaphor at the end there. Your <laughs> right. neck is like a castle <laughs> full of shields that warriors use. What? How is... In what way? It's a in shield a, neck. <laughs> no, it's... it's it's Your neck is like a shield warrior walled castle in that when I go to try to kiss it, you don't let me and you kind of squirm away and you have very good defenses. Okay, I could see that. I'm creepy. Like a mixture of Joe Biden's back rubs and Donald Trump's wanting to fuck his daughter. (laughs) Oh my God, Joe Trump should be a meme. Make it happen. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle that browse among the lilies. Never heard breasts described that way, but all right. Your breasts are like baby mammals in a patch of flowers. Yeah, which uh, the mammals themselves also have boobs, so it's like quad boob. Don't they don't they make babies in like batches and shit, so they have multiple teats? Yeah, I think so. It's you know it's tits all the way down. It's titception. I don't know how many tits a deer has. That's not a joke. I just don't know how many tits a deer has. How many tits does a deer have? Let us know in the comments. This is this show falls apart more and more every day. It's the deer jokes. We don't know a lot about deer. We gotta we gotta move on. Until the day breaks and the shadows flee, I will go to the mountains of myrrh and the hill of incense. You are altogether beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Lebanon. Okay, you're repeating yourself a little. I get it. It's hard sometimes. Freestyling. Not too easy. Descend from the crests of Amana, from the top of Sinir, the summit of Hermon, the, the, the lion's dens. I'm sorry, but Hermon was, after all the, you know, the high fantasy sounding names I wasn't expecting. Oh, you know. And Hermon. And the mountain haunts of leopards. You have stolen my heart, my sister, my bride. You have stolen um... my heart. Okay, can we stop at my sister, my bride? I'm going to hope that's that's a metaphorical sister. Like, you know, sister. Like that show Sisters that was on... <laughs> what the fuck was that channel? It doesn't I don't know. All I, all I can think of is sister, sister. That They were actually sisters. True. Okay, we have competing shows with very similar <laughs> premises. Tia uh, and Tamara, right? Yeah. Maori. Tamara. Tia Maori? and Tamara Maori. I don't remember that. I just yeah. know that they were twins. And they were probably, like, hot for the time, but... <laughs> I think they were about 15 during that show, so... Well, I was roll that younger back. than that. That's fine. Yeah. I'm, hold on. Now I gotta look up what they look like right now. I don't know. Throw up a graphic. Throw up a graphic that says, like, one Google search later. One Google search later. Welcome to the new segment, How Did They Hold Up? Hugo, with the results. Uh, okay. Still doable. Still doable. Still doable. There they are on some sister time with Tia Maori. Let's... Still banking on that sister, sister yeah. money? Oh, yeah. Like, half these pictures, they're still together. They are not competent apart, clearly. <laughs> We're twins, isn't that wild? No. No, twins happen all the time. <laughs> We're identical, but not really. They don't really look the... that much alike anymore. Are they identical See... twins or fraternal? And the show, I, I think, no it was idea. identical. Well, the, I mean, the, the Olsen twins kind of did that thing for a while, and then one of them decided to do crack. It's okay. They make a lot I of I don't know if that's true. They just... It looks she like was, they no, do a they lot did, of crack. They, they were, that, that was the bulimia. One of them did bulimia and probably some crack. Let's be I real. don't know if you do bulimia. Maybe she ate the crack and then threw it up. Maybe. I Man, when I was a kid, I loved those. Remember they had the videotapes in the video store where it was like the Mary-Kate and Ashley mystery no. series? No, I don't. You oh, liked those? That was my shit. That was it's, my shit. It's so weird. You like you like that, and you like musicals, but you don't like dick. I'm not. I'm right now. I've never seen Gilmore Girls in the middle of season one. Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all through season seven. Like by all accounts, I should have a dick in my ass like half the time. But nope, just a weird person. Someone in the comments. Oh, gay things aren't gay things. Shut up, faggot. I, I see you've been really, really 
pedal to the metal on using the word faggot recently, I've noticed. I have? No. Yeah. It's it's been retarded recently. Oh, okay. Pedal the metal on all of it. Oh. Okay then. You do Just you. Main mainline the insults mm. until they mean nothing. Okay. That's that's my path to equality. Everyone's just garbage. What am I then? Give me your what a racial slur me. You're a kike. Okay, didn't I'm not Jewish, but I'll take it. You look kikey. I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't double down on it. I can't. Nope. I don't even think like I don't even think Jews are like, ah, don't call me a kike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's a racial slur. I get it. I'm ashamed to be a part of this show now, by the way. Remember right, at the I beginning mean, like, when I said worst things from here out? He didn't believe I said me, a did racial, you? I said a racial slur on the show not too long ago, and I didn't know it was a racial slur. Oh, I remember. What was that? What was the slur? It was something about Asians. Gook? Yep, that's the one. Is gook? Uh, see, I always thought that was like a... Um... A, a pet name for the uh, for the <laughs> nope for the Vietnamese the Viet Cong not even close yeah no it was just all Asian people <laughs> bad bad is it bad I don't like it, I feel like the oh. intent is worse no it's like if I intend to be like ah you fucking racial slur of whatever applies to you I feel like that's the bad part if I if like if if my genuine ignorance of what gook means if offends you get out. I can't leave. I work here, so. <laughs> you knew you knew Gook meant that. Yes, that was on the that was on the dark matter thing. That's everyone right. knows this. This Not, is like a well. Weird... Now everyone does. I was the last one. I was the last bastion of purity. This is like the shittiest Seinfeld episode ever. Where is it okay for me to use that when I didn't know what it meant? <laughs> this whole segment should be cut. If it isn't, I'm disappointed in you, Jake. Shut up, Gook. How delightful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much more pleasing is your love than wine and the fragrance of your perfume more than any spice. You know, vagina you're related to feels better because it fits right. Yeah. Like you bottom out (laughs) right at the point. I mean, I'm talking... I don't have a sister. I can say that. In engineering terms, like you are within microns of tolerance. It's, uh... Please don't fuck your sister. (laughs) Your lips drop sweetness as the honeycomb, my bride. Milk and honey are under your tongue. Oh, the milk and honey would be all mouthy. Yeah. That's the best, though. It self-flavors. It's like a turducken, but uh, instead it's in someone's (laughs) mouth. Like, you ever eat food and you're like, man, I wish this tasted like the inside of someone else's mouth. More. More than it already does. No. The fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. You know, how Lebanon smells. (laughs) A dying city. (laughs) You are a garden locked up, my sister, my bride. You are a spring enclosed, a sealed fountain. Your plants are in an orchard of pomegranates with choice fruits, with henna and nard, nard and saffron, calmus and cinnamon, with every kind of incense tree, with myrrh and aloes and all the finest spices. You are a garden fountain. A well of flowing water streaming down from Lebanon. Vagina. Sweet. It's a vagina. <laughs> so it? she smells like those old ladies that you could smell from across the street. Uh, what's uh, what's an old perfume? Charlie. Smells Shalimar. Like Char- Shalimar. Sure. Let's go with that one. No, thank you. Would you like a hard candy? No, Beatrice. Not today. Not never. Would you like to come back to my place and smell my vagina? Smells like saffron. <laughs> Why would Beatrice's clunge smell like saffron? Saffron's a very expensive scent. Yeah. To stuff into your veg. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the only way. That's to l- also it's, like a turducken. It's the only way to lure young men anymore because the face isn't doing it. <laughs> saffron veg. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't think I don't think saffron cunt is going to bring me towards it. I didn't say it's ever worked. I just said that's I, her plan. I'm going to be like, who the fuck has saffron and also fish? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The wife, the bride replies, awake, North Wind. Oh, wow. You can tell this guy's a douche. <laughs> Call me North Wind. <laughs> I got a tribal tattoo. I was in a frat with a lot of, a lot of guys named Chad. Anyway. <laughs> Did some CrossFit, drank some Jaeger bombs. 
I only ever wear... The first thing I put on in the morning is a wife beater. When they discontinued Zima, I bought like seven cases. I'm still working on it with my bros. And come, south wind, blow on my garden, that its um, fragrance may spread everywhere. Uh-huh. Let my beloved come into his garden and taste its choice fruits again. Okay, he, she's talking about cunnilingus, right? Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. She, she, wants, she wants someone to blow on her vagina and smell it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's that's I think uh, I don't think uh, I don't think that either of them were very experienced in the carnal pleasures of the world. They're like they're like oh it's like a blowjob but for a lady. What what happens then? You know you blow on it and you get a little sniff and you're like yeah I guess that smells like a vagina that I blew on. My favorite thing is that this was written at a time when bathing regularly was not a thing that was done. So right so it's like it's like vagina but with morning breath. Man, gardens back in the day must have smelled hella fishy. This is my job. Remember when this show had some semblance of like... No! You know, I don't know. I felt like at some point there was some standard. And at some point... No, you just Mandela affected yourself about our own show. Okay, well. It's Berenstein. Chapter 5, he replies... I have come into my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb and my honey. I have drunk my wine and my milk. Okay, so let's go down. I, so he, he came in her. Okay. Um, gathered myrrh with my spice. I don't know what that means. Maybe just maybe he took the whiff of the vagina. Eaten the honeycomb and my honey. And uh, I have drunk my wine and my milk. I think he sucked on a titty and then a little bit came out. <laughs> Maybe. And the friends chime in. Eat friends and drink. Drink your fill of love. Okay, the friends are definitely involved in <laughs> in what's happening right now. There's Why some... are the friends watching? Why are they... like okay, this is this is the equivalent of exchanging vows with the person you intend to marry, and then all your friends, of course, like your grandma's over there next to well it would be grandpa, but he died, so next to Bill, her her second husband. And then uh, you got your dad you haven't talked to in six years. You got your mom over there. And you have your ex-girlfriend in the back who you didn't invite, but she found a way. And uh, you're, you're talking about your sex life in front of them instead of saying like how much you love each other. You're basically sexting each other on stage going like, yeah, I'm going to lick your fucking, I'm going to lick your labias off. And she's like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smell your nuts. <laughs> and everyone knows that you're fucking weirdos. And your friend, your friend in the back's like, woo, do it. You're, I'm Did I paint the picture for you? You must be a really bad sexter if uh, that's your... Oh, man, no. I'm going to smell the underneath your tits area. That was my best sext of all time. Like, after the gym. <laughs> yeah, go for a run. Take off that sports bra. Let me sniff that boob. No, don't, don't take the sports bra off. Leave it there so when I, when I undo it, I crack the seal. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. I think that's enough for today. Hopefully... It won't be another month before we do another one of these. It won't. No, be. We'll do another one next no. week. It's fine, unless someone dies. Ray, don't fucking die. Ever check out my check out my T-shirt, everyone. This is a cool T-shirt, and also it's gonna be a segue. But check out this T-shirt. Sure, are cats. Strange fur things. Get it? Like like the hit Netflix show of similar name minus cat pun. Anyway, speaking of T-shirts. We have a uh, we have a Christmas T-shirt now. Look at that T-shirt. That's that's an ugly T-shirt that you would like for your Christmas stuff. They're only available um, until the nineteenth of December, which is the uh, you should get them shipped to you before Christmas is over if you live in the United States when that closes. Of course, you can always ask for rush shipping. They come in a myriad of different colors. Of course, you could choose your own color. You don't have to choose one here, so you could get, you know, something ugly that I didn't pre-design for you. This was made by our wonderful Patreon manager, uh, Whiplash Gaze, on the on the Twitter. But he also runs the Unpopular Culture account, which is a show that you should subscribe to. Yeah. So. so oh, and the- by the way, they're, they're the absolute cheapest I could make them because I know that you got a lot of sales and Christmas shopping. I made them as cheap as they would let me. Yes. So, I got you. It's the end of the month. The day this comes out will be the last day of the month. Should we should we do a conclusion on Hugo Beard Watch? Hugo Beard Watch. Here we go. 
get closer to the camera. Still pretty garbage. I'm gonna be totally honest. This is I'm not. This is this is four weeks of me attack. <laughs> like there are middle schoolers who get hairier faster than this. I went to I went to school with a kid named Adam who had a beard in the fifth grade. Yeah, fuck you, Adam. Anyway, here's th- this part. I mean, okay, fine. It's starting to kind of be mustache. It's pretty dark, yeah. Super fucking sp- spotty, and then the sides are the worst. Check out, check out the side. Ooh. Oh, oh, yes. Gross. You know what I do like though? It doesn't look like you you are you've just been born. Yeah. Every day I'm, uh, and plopped in front of a camera like you're a little Hugo clone. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep it till the end of December, and we'll see where it's at. Hopefully, another month will give me reason. <laughs> we'll see. You need to massage the follicles. I keep telling you that, but you got to do it. I'd like I'd like to have a beard. I like the idea. I get it. I have a, when my face is naked, it's really gross. I mean, it's still pretty gross, but <laughs> it's not gross. It's just it's unsettlingly smooth. All right. Like I said, anyway. it looks like it looks like you popped out of a out of a clone tank every single day, and then your your replacement kills the real you. Mm. Well, I guess the realest you, the most recent, the oldest you. I get you. I get what you're saying. So, you can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can subscribe to the channel. Definitely turn on notifications. YouTube's fucking up. They're not putting people in subscription feeds. Do that to all your favorite channels, not just us, but mostly us. And also, we do a monthly Loot Crate-style box where if you donate $5, you get uh, uh, signed Chick Tract every month, $10, buttons and stickers, 15 you get 3D pop doll thingies, and of course, you get all the levels below your own. So, check out that out very very cool stuff anyway and here's the end screen with all the buttons i'm hugo jake click the fucking buttons there for you to click them there's videos you can watch (laughs) they're very good videos all right i'm ending this all right you do that i'm still gonna talk about the buttons whether they hear me or not press them there jake put them there you do it